All right, guys, this is the last stop on Four Flashlight Friday, and I saved this one for last because this one is a lot different, and I have not done a headlight review in some time. When I talked to Phoenix about getting something new to review, I specifically asked for a headlight because I hadn't found one yet that fit what I was looking for, and that is highly reliable, takes AA batteries, and is small enough to EDC in a bag. Be there when you need it. So what, I, what we came up with was, let's review the Phoenix HL23. Like I said, this is a small headlamp. I also don't like headlights that got straps going over the top of your head and battery packs on the side. It's too much weight. I want simple. I want small. I want reliable. That's what this is. On off mode switch is on the side. We even see it. You gotta hold it down to turn it on, lightly tap it to change modes. The other side, that's where you insert your AA battery. Now you can use regular alkalines if you absolutely need to, if you're scavenging or something like that, or you can use the uh, lithiums, rechargeables, whatever. I am giving you the run times on the, the, the better batteries. So, how long is this going to last? Well, let's get the spec sheet. Okay, this headlamp runs on a Cree XP G2 LED on one AA battery. It's got a 55 meter beam distance and it's got three brightness levels. Now, these brightness levels aren't like tactical light levels. These are lower. These are the levels that you actually want for a headlight, for most of what you're gonna use a headlight for. You don't need 900 lumens on a freaking headlamp. Okay, the weight on this thing is 1.76 ounces without the battery in it. It's got digitally regulated output to maintain constant brightness as the battery is depleted. It tilts uh, 60 degrees up and down. Reverse polarity protection. Type 3 hard anodized, tough, ultra clear lens, so on so forth. Uh, two meter impact resistant, and it is two meters of water resistance. So I would say that is IPX8, I believe. I carry this in my VanQuest Tollcat. That's a small, kind of like a, it's similar to a Maxpedition, the original Fat Boy. Every once in a while, I don't want to tuck my Glock in my pants. I'd rather just put it in that bag. If I'm carrying that bag, this is in the front pocket. So give you an idea of how big this is on your head. Let me put it on real quick. So here it is. It's lightweight. I don't really notice it. Some of these lights are just crazy. Some of them I have to think about. It's like, okay, what do I got to turn this do to turn this on this one I know I just got to grab it hold it down for a second turns it on light press change my modes hold it down turns it off simple easy lightweight so that's what I like about this so let's take it outside in the dark and see what it looks like okay so I got the headlamp on What I'm gonna try and demonstrate here is how far I gotta walk up to this stump to where the camera can actually pick it up. So you can see the low. That's for like in a tent, something like that. Medium, very useful, good enough for most headlamp applications. And the bright, the turbo, the high, whatever you want to call it. Well, that's just about as good as you need for a headlamp. Any more than this on a headlamp, to me, is pretty much overkill. So, there you go. It's a nice headlamp. It's just, I like this one. This one has everything that I want. Uh, it doesn't have a bunch of crap that I don't want. It's the right size. It's, it lasts a long time. It takes 
easy to get batteries. And if you run out of rechargeables, it's gonna work almost as good with regular double A's, which we can find double A's just about friggin' anywhere. Price on these, I've seen a couple different prices just checking Amazon. I saw some that were 34. The only difference was like the sides here were gray and I've seen them for 49 bucks. Either one I think is a pretty good price for a light that's gonna last you a long time. I never have any problem with Phoenixes. So I've been looking, the last Phoenix headlamp I had, I reviewed probably well over a year ago. I no longer have it. That one got stolen out of my car when my PLSK1 got stolen. So this is the first new Phoenix headlamp I've had in some time and it's perfect. I like it. This is always in my EDC bag because when it comes right down to it, in the event that you actually need a headlamp, it's because you're doing something in the dark with your hands. And I'm not above clamping a flashlight in my teeth, but that's tedious. Then you end up drooling all over yourself and it's like, you know, pff, whatever. So I like it. Check it out on uh, phoenixlight.com and I will have them in the store, preparedmind101.com. So there you go, guys. That is the last light for Four Flashlight Friday. Got some lights knocked out and try to keep it simple. I try to keep each one to the point, direct, and not go over, or we don't need to go 20 minutes on a flashlight review. But all of these that I reviewed today, really like all of them. They're all very reliable. All right, guys, I'm Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash prepared mind 101. And check us out on Meeting of the Prepared Minds, which is the Facebook group. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. And I'll be back with some more videos here soon. So see you then.